What's up guys, Billy here, and today I wanted to do a quick comparison of the video quality when using the Mavic Pro's digital zoom feature. Although this mode is only available in a max resolution of 1080p, it definitely has its benefits. For example, imagine you are using your drone to spot deer or other animals in a field. You can easily be flying from far above and zoom in to get a closer look, ensuring that you don't get too close and scare them off. This also can be useful when surveying a structure. Easily zooming in to a selected area will allow you to maintain your distance and prevent a possible crash. When we look at the footage from our Mavic that is not zoomed in at all, faraway objects can be hard to see, like this pond in the middle of my shot. With the ability to zoom in by increments of 0.1, we can achieve a 2x zoom allowing us to get an even closer look without having to risk getting our drone stuck. One thing I would change about this zoom feature is how it is incremented. Rather than having to go one by one, I would rather a fluid zoom that can be used for cinematic shots. For those who may be wondering how the zoom feature works, here is a quick graphic that I've come up with to help you understand. We know that in a video shot at 4K, the dimensions are 3840 by 2160. This is 3840 pixels horizontally and 2160 vertically. That's four times more pixels compared to a video shot at 1080p, which is 1920 pixels horizontally and 1080 pixels vertically. With all this being said, think of the zoom feature as shooting in 4K and then cropping your image to resemble the footage shot in 1080p. If you want to learn more about video resolution sizes, be sure to check out my video explaining them. I'll put the link in the top right corner and in the description. Jumping into the test footage, first we have a regular shot coming from the Mavic's camera with no zoom applied. My altitude was about 200 feet. Although the resolution is not at 4K, the image quality is still usable. Next I increased my altitude to about 400 feet and zoomed in by two times trying to get the same shot that I did when I was not zoomed in. Finally I flew at 400 feet again and shot in 4K rather than 1080p. With this footage I cropped it down to half of the size using my editing software, which should give us the same effect that the zoom feature does. Now that we've established what all of these shots look like in terms of quality, let's do a side by side comparison to find out who the real winner is. On the left is the 1080p footage with no zoom applied. In the middle is again the 1080p footage but with the digital zoom applied and on the right is the 4k footage cropped down to resemble the digital zoom. After looking at all of the clips, I have to say that the 4K footage looks the best even when it is zoomed in. Everyone who subscribed to my channel knows that I love shooting in 4K, so it may be a no-brainer that I chose this as my pick, but I truly think it looks better than the other two. As far as comparing both sets of footage shot at 1080p, one zoomed in and one not, I can't see much of a difference and because of that I have to say that the zoom feature does its job well by giving us a closer look while not losing any quality. If you have the choice to shoot in 4K and crop your image down in post, this definitely should be your number one choice. But if you want to avoid having to crop after the fact, then the zoom feature works just fine. I also like how you can do this on the fly in case you have to get a close look at something, rather than having to wait to sit down in front of your computer. One thing that I do want to mention and that I should have said earlier, is that the digital zoom feature is only available on the Mavic as we speak. I do hope that within the future it is available on the Phantom 4 series, I mean it's really not a matter of how the camera is built, it's all software based as it is digital zoom, and of course the Phantom 4 series can shoot in 4K so it would be a no brainer that it could just make its way over fairly easily, but for some reason we see some different features on the Phantom and the Mavic and they just never make their way over to the other one. Uh, so again I do hope that in the future it is available on other drones, but for now it's only available on the Mavic. So guys, that about wraps up this video. I've got to say that overall, the zoom feature is pretty awesome. I usually shoot in 4K, so I probably won't be able to make use of it. But if you are someone that regularly shoots in 1080p, give it a go and see if you like it. I do think that it can be helpful in certain situations. So guys, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the zoom feature. I do hope it makes its way over to the Phantom 4 series as I'm sure a lot of those people would like to use it. Uh, but again, we will just have to wait and see. But guys, anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.